I have to give a big shout out to Ubisoft because they are obviously going to be releasing the new Ghost Recon Breakpoint game later this fall, and I'm really excited for that game. I am a big fan of Ghost Recon Wildlands. I thought that game was really fun, and I'm really excited for this game to see what they're going to be doing with this game. But with that being said, they were in an interview recently with VG247, which is a, a video game website, and uh, they did this interview. And uh, <laughs> you guys are really gonna, really gonna get a kick out of this. So let's go ahead and dig into this interview right here. VG247 says, but do you ever run up against that? Do you ever find and i realize this kind of thing is difficult to talk about but is there ever an idea bubbling away and then you realize perhaps it doesn't fit to tom clancy and what he wrote and then sebastian la prestre i think that's how you say his name says well that's a good comment tom clancy's universe is always a work of fiction even if it is grounded in current events and things like that we tried to find inspiration from the world around us but we were building a game we're not trying to make a statement we are we're not trying to make a statement. We're not going to lie. We're really going for, we're not going to lie. We're really going for the thing that we think will be most interesting for the player in terms of fun and gameplay mechanics. This is where their interest is in for Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Plus immersion in the storyline. Also fantastic news. From there, we're not trying to direct or get inspiration from something else direct. It's all about the experience. And then VG247 kind of blows a top or something <laughs> and says, sorry to harp on this, but following on what you just said there, what's it like to walk that tightrope? The work of Clancy is inherently political and absolutely makes statements, but then you want to make a game around it that's fun and don't want to... <laughs> Oh man, but then you want to make a game around it that's fun? It's like that's an, that's an inconceivable concept to these people. Of uh, Duh, that's what games are supposed to be. Games are supposed to be fun. And then uh, it looks like Sebastian cut him off here. He's like, and don't want to. And then Sebastian said, it's fiction. It's all a work of fiction. We're going for ultimate realism, but beyond that, there's no messaging that we're trying to send to people here. We just want people to have fun, to have an enjoyable experience. We're not really walking a tightrope in that sense. This universe is so rich and gives us so many ga gameplay opportunities that there's plenty of inspiration for us there. Holy crap. Well done, Ubisoft. This is exactly, exactly what we want video game developers to be like. We, we don't want them to be worried about the political statements. We want them to be worried about the gameplay, about giving us a good experience with the game. We want them to focus on the story. We want them to focus on the gameplay and the characters. That is what we want them to focus on. We want them to focus on giving us a good experience. And it seems like that Ubisoft actually this has actually clicked with them. They aren't going to be focusing on a political statement with their game. And it seems like VG247 just can't fathom that. And I, I congratulations Ubisoft for figuring this out. And uh, you know the funny thing is that I was uh, when I was watching the the trailer for Breakpoint. Um, you know I they they had like uh, the 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 dude the female character then like two minority characters like the the squad. And I was like, uh, are they trying to dip their toes into identity politics here or something? And then. Um, and then, you know, they came out with this, and I was like, okay, that's awesome. They're just trying to give us some awesome characters, and that's totally fine. If you want to give us minority characters, female characters, go for it. But don't make that the statement that you're trying to tell with your film. Don't make that into an identity politics thing. And it seems like Ubisoft has figured that out. You can make a game with a political setting without giving a political statement in that game. I can point to so many great movies and video games throughout history that have done just that, where it, it does take place in a political setting, but it doesn't try to change your mind or impact what you what you believe or anything like that. They're just trying to tell a good story. Ubisoft, fantastic. This is awesome, and this is why I'm going to be put, picking up Ghost Recon uh, Breakpoint this fall. I, I can't wait to play this game. I'm excited to support them because of this, uh, this statement right here. Uh, Ubisoft, don't back down to these people. 
keep doing what you're doing because this is fantastic and you will find support if you continue to walk this road. So well done Ubisoft. I'm really excited for this game also because John Bernthal is in this game and I'm a huge John Bernthal fan so I'm excited to see what kind of a villain he's going to be playing in this movie or this game and stuff. He looks like he looks fantastic. The graphics look insane in this game as they usually do with with these types of games and stuff. So well done Ubisoft. One more round of applause for you and uh, if you guys enjoyed this video then let me know in the comments below and I will talk to you all very soon in another video. Talk to you later. Bye.